Okay, in this video, I will be showing you how to make a recursive um, recursive merge function. Um, I'm not going to show you the actual code. I'm just going to show you the process you go through. Um, I'm going to assume that you have a merge function, which basically takes two, se uh, two segments of arrays, which are already sorted, and then sorts them when you merge them together. It's a, I'm, I'm not going to show you the code to the function, same as I'm not going to show you the code to the recursive one, but I may, I could, you know, I think I will add the code to the links in the bottom of the video. Um, but this is, so this video is just to show you the general idea um, and how to, basically how to do it, not, not how to code it, because it's the same pretty much with any language of any, any, any kind of, um, code language. So I'm, I'm not, I'll probably provide the Java code because it's pretty much under, it's, it's a very, it's a very versatile code. So um before we start the two things that we need to always always assume is that um in order to make merge work the array segments which we are merging have to be already sorted and also if the array can be split only into one part then the function will return so if if we get down to a point where where tr where we have two separate, um, two, two separate, um, segments, and, but they're only one cell, it will merge them instead of, instead of following this, well, it'll, it'll skip right to the merge step, um, so these are the steps, and to, so the first step is to determine the center which, like I was saying before, if there's only two cells, it'll skip directly to the merge, merge function, or merge step right here, or number four, because it is, um, because that's how it works. Um, but, so first of all, we determine the very center cell in the array, which you basically do by taking the average of the two, of the end, um, of the end uh, cells, so like your starting cell and your ending cell, and then averaging them to get the center. So then, secondly, you um, recursively sort the left side, so you just call the array again. I'm not going to go into how recurs um, recursion works in this tutorial, but I, I, I'm going to assume you already know how it works. But so first you sort the left side of the array, and then once that's done, you you sort the right side, so on either side of the center. Um, and then once you do that, you merge the two because it's assumed that they will now be sorted, um, and it will sort those through the merge. So first of all, we have this array, and it has... 10, I mean, 11 different, different items, um, 49, 90, 10, 88, 45, 58, 55, 15, 83, 61, and 25, and they are clearly not in order, not sorted in any way, so the first thing we do is step one, we determine the center of the array, which in this case would be five, cell five, which is 58. And then we determine the left side and the right side. Now we move to the left side because step two is to um, recursively sort the left side of the array. So here we have the left side, and because we're because we're recursing, we do it. We restart back to step one, which is find the center. In this case, cell two ten and we find the left side and the right side. Now, the left side is what we work on now because of step two. And yet again, we do the process. 
the same process. We find the middle, which in this case, because it's because I'm working with integers, would be zero. Um, and since there's no left side and only a right side, then we then it'll skip to self or it'll skip to um, number four, which is to merge the two. And since these two are already in order, the merge will do nothing, and therefore these two are sorted. I will have the white line meaning, meaning sorted. A solid, solid white line between cells means that they are sorted with each other. So we move over to the right side, which comes after step two, so step three. And so the... On the right side, we find the middle, which is in this case three, and the there is no left side, but there is a right side. So, since because um, because of what I told you before, um, the second precondition, these two will automatically um, go to step four, and they will merge, which in this case they become. They switch um, because 45 is smaller than 88, so those are now sorted. And now what we do is we recurse back. Um, so, well, yeah, we we back recurse, I guess. And although we don't have a left side, the um, the middle will now count as our left side because we need to find a way to incorporate the middle cell back into the right so that we can get a full a full sort. So I will represent that with a gray line. So you um, you take the sorted white line out to the right and the gray line, um, so um, which is um, on the arrow, and we merge them together because um, because there is no left or right and um, since 10, 45, and 88 are all in order, then that's all that's all sorted. So then we take another step back, and we see, look, we have two sorted arrays here. We have the 49 and the 90, and the 10, 45, and 88. And since those are sorted, we can merge them. So we merge them, and they become one sorted array or section of array of an array so then we take another step back to the whole array and we haven't done the right side yet because step step two comes before step three step two being left side and step uh, three being the right side so we move into the right side and we continue the process we find the middle we find the left find the right work on the left find the middle, there's no left, so we find the right, and since there's no left, we can um, merge these two, and they become, they become, um, they become sorted, 15 is smaller than 55, so they switch, and their white bar for sorted, so then we take another step back, and we go into the right side, find the middle, find the right, and, and now they're sorted. So then we, then we do the uh, gray line thing again. This cell has a gray line because it is, because it is now our sort of left side, but it is not quite. Um, so those two merged and that is now sorted. Um, so we take another step back and we see we have these two sorted arrays, 15 and 55, 25, 61, and 83, and we merge them and we create this um, sorted array, which is um, the, the five, which are in order, 
So we take, um, we, we go back another step and use the middle as our left, and we then merge the middle with the right, and this creates it, or puts it in the right order. So then we have t um, one lar uh, sorted array. So we take one last step back and see that we finally have these two sides. We have the left side, which is all sorted, and the right side, which is all sorted, which means we can merge them right together. And then these are, this is now one sorted array. So, um, so through that process, you can, um, you can recursively, um, enter into, uh, or, or you can get, you can get yourself smaller and until you have two cells, which you can switch. And then you basically just grow, the, grow your array in size. And each time you do that, you, you get it more and more sorted and put sections together until you get to the end, at which point the whole array becomes sorted.